Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Hello, everyone. Nerds, Robbie here, and it is Wednesday. It is your favorite day of mine. We got another fun filled episode of Wild Wednesday Baseball Card Mystery Pack. And today, I got two packs here from George in Arizona. I am all in at $20.12. And we got something special here. So these are going to be uh, 80s gems. So I've been looking at these for a while. I kind of baited it. And then someone sent me an email and says, hey, you should probably check these out. So I figured I'd buy it. Uh, you can buy like a whole uh, box of them. Uh, they, but I think they're like 60, 70 bucks. But I, you can buy two packs for $20.12. I figured why not get the two packs and see what there are and see if they're worthwhile. So all cards will be from 1980 and 1989. Uh, all packs will contain one or more All-Star Hall of Famer or rookie card. Uh, no reprint, it says. So... We'll see what we get here. Let's take it to the test. Let's see if we get the stars. Let's see if we get the Hall of Famers. Let's check this out here. So let's open it up. Have some fun. All 80s all the time. That's what I say. I love the 80s. I love the 80s. Okay, oh, I'm going to get my trusted scissors out. So here we go. Yeah, cut this along. And see what these packs are all about. And you know, they count for mystery packs, right? Well, there they are. Our serial number. Oh, 2022 version. So there we are. There they are. The 80s gems. So there we go. And we got two packs. So you know what that means always. We got to use the coin of chance. So here we go. And we got tails. We're going to do that one first. So there we go. Oh, uh, here we go. We're going to open this up. And there is the website. I probably bought this from some guy that probably probably liked them or didn't like them. So we'll give it a try here. If we like them again, we might buy a box. So here we go. Here comes the 80s. Oh, here we go. One of your favorite decades. And boom, we're gonna start out there with a Pedro Borbon. All right. Pinch hitting for Pedro Borbon. Manny Mota. Mota. Oh, fly ball there. So there is Pedro Borbon from the San Francisco Giants. Uh, and, up, and these are in pretty good shape. So up next, we got a Tiger team card there. Give me Tiger's love. We got, Mar we got Sparky Anderson as the manager. So there it is. Again, these are in good shape for 1980s. So we'll take them. After that, I got Cal Rick Jr. on 1988 Dunruss. So there's a little hit right there for you. So we're doing pretty good so far. Oh, there we go. There's that card. After that, we got 1983 tops of George Brett. That one's a, an average condition. There's some creasing going on there. But 83 tops. Well, there he is. All star card of George Brett. After that, I got 1986 Dunruss of Tony Bernazard from the Cleveland Indians. Look at my smile in there. He's all happy. He's about as happy as Chief Wahoo there. So there he is. Uh, 1986 of Tony Bernandez. After that, got their strawberry on a 1987 Dunruss from the New York Mints. After that, we got 83 tops of Richard Dotson of Chicago White Sox. After that, got some Cubs on there. There he is. There's Jerry Murphy of the Cubs on 88 tops. After that, we got Ryan Guidry on 87 Dunruss from the New York Yankees. And from 1981, Fleer, we got Mitchell Page. So there's a nice card there. And then we got Rich Dower there, 81 tops from the Baltimore Orioles. We got Rick Mahler from the Atlanta Braves. I don't know, 86 Dennis. And after that, some Cubs left. The Cubs left. And we got a Mark Grace rookie card. And Darren Datchek, so can't forget him. But you know the card's value there. They got Mark Grace there. So you gotta love that. So that's gonna be a nice little hit. Oh, some value. We'll take that. We got 1988 Diamond Kings of Tim Raines from the Montreal Expos. Glenn Hoffman of uh, the Boston Red Sox there on 81 tops. We got Steve Bedrock Madrosian there. You gotta love Bedrock Madrosian. This is Steve Bedrock Madrosian. 1983. 
Well, that's his second year card. 82 is his rookie yard. Well, that's a nice card there. We got Bad Rock Bedosian in there. Very nice. And after that, from 1989, Dennis, we got Chris Sabo from the Cincinnati Reds. Got some Sabo love. Oh, rookie card there. After that, we got Glenn Hoffman of the. Didn't we just get him? Oh, the boss from Red. Yeah, there we go. We got some Glenn Hoffman love. Might have to get him signed. We'll see if he signs. Get some Glenn Hoffman love right there. So. See if he signs back to back, almost back to back. Glenn Hoffman's this time on E3 tops. And that boom, very nice. Get a 1987 Barry Bonds. Yeah, I love that. This is a rookie card, if you want to call it that. Some people like the 86, some people call it 87, but that is the 87 rookie card. So, man, this is not too bad. And they have got a 1987 Dennis of Jay Tibbs. So, Montreal Expos. After that, very nice. Got 1981 tops of Jim Rice from the Boston Red Sox. I'm getting a lot of Boston Red Sox in here. And after that, I've got Chris James on 89 Dunross there from the Philadelphia Phillies. After that, I've got Mark Davis on 85 tops from the San Francisco Giants. And we got uh, Jeff Reardon there on 88 tops from the Minnesota Twins. And the last card is from 1988. We got turning back clock uh, from 1983. Oh, very nice. So we will take that. So that actually, this, this is not too bad for 88s. You kind of get a little iffy there. You kind of get in the junk wax era. But still, you get some decent cards from here. So I'm going to call this as a win so far. So here we go. Yeah, let's see what that last pack is going to yield us. So there's the first one. We might have to get a whole box. So you get about like a box of 10. So we might have to look into that. Repacks gems. So if you guys like this, let me know. I will maybe do an episode on it or do a live on these. These are kind of fun. So there we go. Boom. Chris Rado, Buddy Bell on 87 Dunruss. So there he is. 87 Dunruss, uh, Buddy Bell from Cincinnati Reds. After that, we've got Charlie O'Brien, 88 tops from the Milk Brewers. We've got Dwayne Walker from the Texas Rangers on 86 Dunruss. And after that, we've got Dennis Cook from the San Francisco Giants on 89 Dunruss. And they got Johnny Oates from the LA Dodgers. And again, these 80s, because, you know, that's probably what you're trying to get more of the most. Or the stars, of course, but 1980. Uh, they're in pretty good shape from the LA Dodgers, Johnny Oates. We've got Glenn Abbott on 81 Fleer from the Seattle Mariners. Ozzy Smith, the Wizard of Oz. So there he is. Ozzy Smith on 88 Dunruss. And after that, from the Boston Red Sox, we've got Al Nipper, uh, 1985 Tops. Dave Palmer from uh, Montreal Expos on 83 tops. Got Bill Buckner. Make sure you got that glove down so don't go between your legs there from 1986. So there he is, Bill Buckner from the Boston Red Sox. And they got Lewis Tiant there from the New York Yankees. So very nice card there. Uh, pretty good shape. And after that, I've got the Braves, Future Stars on 1980. We've got Bruce Benedict, Larry Bradford, and Andy Miller. Probably the best card, uh, best player there from the three is Bruce Benedict. And then we got Lee Lacey on a 1987 Dunruss. So very nice. And then we got Alan Bannister from the Cleveland Indians on 83 tops. We got Tippy Martinez from 86 Dunruss from the Baltimore Orioles. We got Alan Ashby from the Houston Astros on 83 tops. We got Ken Camamani from the Astros on 88. So that'll have a little value. That is his rookie card. So you're going to go wrong with a Ken Caminini. A very nice card there. And then we got Bob Brower from the Texas Rangers on 87 Dunruss. And from the LA Dodgers, we got Phil Gardner on 88 tops. And I got Old Man Sutton. There he is. There's Old Man Get Sutton. Get ready to match the stars. Trying from the LA Dodgers, Don Sutton. From the 87 Dunruss, from the California Angels. The match game there. Very nice. Let's shut down Sutton. You got to love Don. There he is. And then we got Ray Fossey from the Milwaukee Brewers on 80 tops. All right, nice card right there. We'll take that. And then we got John Franco on 86 Dunruss. Man, there's a lot of 86 Dunrusses in here, that's for sure. There he is with Cincinnati Reds. And then we got Bad Boy Jack Morris on 87 Dunruss. There he is on a Diamond King. Very nice. And after that, we got the Philadelphia Phillies, Shane Raleigh from the Philadelphia Phillies on 88 tops. And that last card is going to be. Kevin Bass from the Houston Astros on 89 Dunruss. So that is it. So we got a little adding up to do. I think these are not too bad, but 
We'll add it up. Let's see if we made our money back. And we'll give it our thumbs rating. So stay tuned and we will be right back. All right, we are back with those two packs from George and Arizona. The, these are the 1980s gems. So you get 25 cars in each pack. All cars from the 80s. So we'll give the highlights here. You know, we were all in at $20.12. And, you know, this was not bad. I, I, I got to admit, it's almost kind of fun to open up. Uh, you know, it's 80s. You know, you're kind of in that era between some really good cards and some really bad cards, and you just don't know what you get. The 80s are just one of those times where, you know, they started mass producing them, so this could be a really fun product or a really ugly product, and I think this ended up being fun. So let's take a peek here. The first pack was definitely by far the best pack. I read a lot of hits in that one. I'm going to be the first to admit it. That pack was actually quite loaded. The first pack ended up being Beckett Low of $11.65. Uh, of course, as you know, the highlight is going to be that 1987 rookie card of oh, Barry Bonds. You never go wrong with that. One of the best iconic cards of the 87s. As you know, no, I love 87 tops. So it's always good when you always feel good and makes your day when you get a Barry Bonds from 1987. And also, we got, uh, just as a side note there, we got, you know, the 1988 Mark Grace rookie card for the Cubs. Get my Cubs love there. So, you know, I got to bring it up. Oh, that's a very nice card there. So, I will take that. You know, I'm debating whether I get a Mark Grace PC collection going. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, uh, the second pack, actually, unfortunately, was a lot worse. <laughs> this one had all hits. This one really did not. It's probably what your typical pack's going to look like, I'm going to say. Um, unfortunately, this is probably the hits one. You know, probably might happen one out of every four or something like that. But still, there were some decent cards in there. We ended up with that 1988 uh, Topps rookie card of Ken Caminini. Oh, the Houston Astros. That ended up being Beckett Low, a 75 cents. Again, this one was just kind of more ho-hum, but still not too bad. A lot of 86 Dunrosses in there. There were 80 Tops in there. It was kind of nice. I think there was an 88 Ozzy Smith in there. So, you know, overall, it wasn't too bad. So we'll take that. So, as you know, I added all this stuff up. So we were all in at $20.12 for these two packs. There are 25 in each one. So 50 cards here. And we ended up, uh, Beckett Low total was $14.20. I ended up losing five dollars and 92 cents but you know i you know this was fun open if you're looking for something for fun open if you like collecting the 80s cards this might be the thing for you let me know i might even buy a whole box this time you know a whole box i think is like uh, 80 dollars for 10 packs so you get you know 250 cards it might be fun to open up one of these times just for the fun of it let me know what you guys thought you guys like the 80s gems there, cause you love the 80s. I know I love the 80s. I love the 80s. Fun. I, I I'm gonna give it a fun factor in this, and we got some good cars out of it. So you know how I'm gonna rank this. I'm gonna rank this from anywhere from two thumbs up to two thumbs down. I think I'm gonna give it. Oh man, I'm debating here. We're gonna give it one thumb up. Hey. Yeah, you know, I. I don't know why I didn't give it two thumbs up. I mean, probably maybe because I got to probably see more. If there are more packs like this, yeah, it'd probably be a thumbs up. But if I got more packs like this, then it'd probably be a two thumbs up. So maybe I'd give it one and a half thumbs if I can't get a half a thumb going on there. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Who was your favorite player? Do you like this 80s gems or did you not like it? Leave that comment. I'm, I'm very dying to know what you guys thought of this product. I think it was fun. I might buy more. Let me know if you want to see more. So leave those comments. If you want to see more, don't want to see more, I can just pass it up just as much. I can get 80s cars anywhere. So let me know if you want me to open more of this or not. What was your favorite player? Was it Mark Grace, Barry Bonds, Ken Caminini, or one of these commons who were your favorite players back in the day? So let me know. Leave that comment. And if you haven't subscribed, we do this every Wednesday. We have fun. We have a wild time doing it. I love doing this. It's so much fun. So... 
uh, hit that subscription button. It means so world to me, and I keep doing these because they're not easy to do at times. So I appreciate for your support and hit that subscription button. It means the world to me. So thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.